whoever finds this letter, there's a small town in the state of Oregon whose name is Gravity Falls. The people who live there may not be the smartest nor the wisest, but are surely warm of heart most of the time. It's not well known. Most people believe it's a place of fiction. I can assure you. This town is 100% real. I can also confirm that this place is far from ordinary. The only possible reason to go to Gravity Falls other than you already live there are if you have family or you're investigating anomalies for science or government reasons. Thus, the case of the Pines family, Stanford Pines, comes to study the weirdness of Gravity Falls because of his own birth defect. A six-fingered Stanley Pines came when his brother, twin brother Ford, invited him. Skipping, skip a generation, and then the next set of twins from the family will visit for the summer. These two are called Dipper and Maple. At the beginning of that, the summer, the pairs moved into the attic of the Mystery Shack. Their grunkle business slash house dipper the male twin had to go into the woods one day because his grunkle told him to hang out up some signs he finds a journal filled with ghouls goblins and anything myst mystical of course he kept it and started to read his twin sister no doubt found out even though one of the pages said in a big bold letter to trust no one. This led to adventure, fun, rivalry, and danger. The pair met enemies but powered through it together, facing anyone and anything that came their way. Yet, an even more powerful enemy showed up and they still beat him. The two finally decided to come clean to their uncle but he claimed to not believe a word they said. Until one night, he had to fight off zombies. Yes, zombies. So he had to admit he knew about the weirdness all along. The adventures, fun, rivalry, and danger continued. But not all, not all of Stan's secrets came out in the opens. One day, Stan got arrested. And something he'd been planning for 30 years almost got foiled because the family had a hard time trusting him. A portal that was hidden three stories under the mystery shack. It had been an interdimensional portal that Stan was trying to open for a good reason. At last it opened and a figure walked out. He looked like Stan. He was Stan. The man who came out of the portal was Stanford, Stanley's twin. Stanley was posing as his brother because he was the, at fault for getting him stuck in the another dimensions. Siblings feuds get ignited, but the adventures, fun, rivalry, and danger still, still continued. continued. The one difference was there was always eeriness because of that the powerful enemy Dipper and Maple had previously faced. The powerful being was more dangerous than any other threat anyone had ever faced before. He was a cosmic being of incredible power and very little weaknesses. Everyone in that family had been duped by him before, some cases a lot worse than others. This cosmic being came to one dimension by tricking the multiple people. He essentially caused the apocalypse. He could only remain in the barrier of Gravity Falls thanks to a force field. He caused major destructions within that city limits, though he had minions, other abominations and changed the normalness of humanity to a weird alternate dimension, which was the plan in the first place. With a lot of fighting and even more 
outwitting the cosmic being was defeated again! The town of Gravity Falls eventually got out of what happened and returned to normal. The injured recovered, the afraid regained their sanity, and every ab abnormal being vanished. Dear reader, how do I know all of this? Simple. I was there. I may not have been mentioned at the beginning of the story, but I was a big part in the end. I'm the cosmic being. I'm the vanquished. I'm the one mortals beat. How could stupid mortals beat me? Now I'm stuck between time and space because it's physically impossible for me to die or vanish from history. Plans I ruined. I stay alone defeated, whoever you are. If you ever want to make a deal, well, it takes. All it takes is a shake of my hand, and any wish you can is my command. Sincerely yours, Bill.